Hey girls, happy Thursday! Today's workout is going to be a full body hourglass called Pilates. So it's 40 minutes straight on, no different circuits. Every exercise is going to be 45 seconds on, then you have a 15 second break. And all you need are some light weights, 1 kg or half kg, and a medium or hard resistance band. So this is also day 4 of your Healthy Girl Summer Shred Challenge. So please try to do it with me. Do the challenge with me and you can get printable in the description below. There are also some healthy recipes, but we're gonna talk more about this after we finish our workout. So let's get started. We don't have a warm up here since it's going to be just Pilates. And we're gonna start off with some upper body, then we're going to move into some abs and we're finishing off with some lower body and some planks. I'm sorry I told you from now, but at least you know what's coming. So we're going to start off with a lateral raise, you're gonna take the weight and you have 10 seconds. Arms come out, drop them down and raise them to the side. You have 3, 2, one and let's start. Up and down. This is slow. If you want to find the beat, up and down. This is only something like an excavation, so don't expect to feel a crazy burn from the first exercise. But after this, I promise I'm gonna make your arms burn. Up and down. Great job. Pulse. 
You have less than 15 seconds now. Three, two, and one. Advanced hold. Otherwise, drop down. We have a front raise, front raise into a steering wheel. So you're going to raise up, steering wheel, steering wheel, and down. Three, two, one, and we're starting. Front raise to the side, to the other side, and down. After two more reps, we're just gonna hold in the front and do some steering wheels only. Let's go. Steering wheels. If you need to drop one or two weights, or if you want to, you can place the finger like this and continue twisting. You are almost there. Three, two, one. Advance. Hold in front with the palms down. Next up, we have some shoulder raises to single and one double. Hold here, advanced. Now we're coming to the shoulder raise. Right arm, left arm, and double. Left arm, right arm, and double. Let's go. After this, we're gonna start doing some back work, which is amazing for your posture. Because if you want to feel the hourglass body, if you want to have it, that sexy, beautiful body, which all bodies are beautiful, but if your goal is to have an hourglass shaped one, working your back is great for creating that hourglass small waist illusion. If you want to, advanced, hold here. And after this, we have an internal rotation. So you're gonna come here and then squeeze your back. So this is a bit harder. If you don't want to use the weights, just drop them down, internal rotation and a back squeeze. And if you're feeling like you're not comfortable with the internal raise, just keep it and do only the back uh, squeezes. I'm gonna grab my weight. I want to challenge myself. And that's what you should do too. My shoulders are burning so much, but I'm not gonna give up. After this, we're coming into line. So enjoy the not so bad exercise while you can. Okay. We don't need any weights now, or if you're feeling super strong, you can use them, but I'm gonna show you without them. We're gonna lay down, let's lower with the tricep push-up. So lower down, extend both the arms and the legs, squeeze the arms, extend them backwards, and extend them forwards. I gaze it down. So if this is too hard for you, just drop the feet down, and do the same thing. Super advanced, grab the weights. Oh my gosh, this hurts with the weights. You have 10 seconds. I'm gonna try to finish it off with the weights. I'm not gonna stop. Two and one. Okay, drop the weights down. Advance, you're gonna hold in the Superman lift. Next up, you have reverse hundreds. So, we're gonna extend the arms backwards and just pause them for 45 seconds. If you want to make this exercise even harder, feet come together. And that way you feel it in your hamstrings too. You are halfway there, 20 more seconds. Again, for this exercise it's the same. If this is too hard for you, just drop the feet down and do the same thing. And don't forget to 
squeeze your back. This is the most important thing here. So pretend like you have a sponge in between your shoulder blades and squeeze it. Okay, so we're coming into a reverse plank. So you're going to come onto your butt. You're gonna lift. So the easier version is to come into a reverse tabletop and you're gonna bring one knee in and then the other one. Otherwise, we're extending the legs and we're knee driving here. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, other resistance bend over your knees. So this is our last back and upper body exercise for now. And then we're coming into core, which probably core is my favorite body part to work. The burn is so addicting. I love it. You are almost done. Keep holding here. And drop down. So now we're going to lie down. And we're doing a combined exercise. So lay down, grab both weights, arms come up, knees are in a 90 degree angle. You're going to tap the foot down, then extend it and do a chest press. So tap down, extend with the chest press. Whoops. I did one more chest press, but that's not a problem if you want to do it. Don't touch the back. Your whole back should be good to the floor. And if your neck is hurting, just drop the head down. This is kind of like our core activation. And after this again, we're gonna Feel the burn so much. If you're feeling strong, hold here. And after this, we have hundreds. So everyone is gonna join us in the tabletop position. Arms come to the side, and we're gonna pass them up and down. Beginners, if this is too hard. Drop the feet down and you are here. And if the tabletop position is too easy for you, extend one leg. If you can, extend both legs. And continue walking here. But just don't forget that your core should be engaged. Back is good to the floor. Ribcage is down. And I gaze is in between your legs. Feel free just to drop the weight. Great work. If you can, hold here. Next up, we have a cocoon. So, you are going to try to touch your ankles and then extend both your legs and your arms. Three, two, and one. This exercise is quite challenging, but I know you can do this. If it is too hard, drop the weight or just touch one foot and then touch the other one. But otherwise, we are with the weight and both legs are standing and bending. And you're going to sit up 
and down. This is your um, intermediate version. Great work. So next up, we're gonna stay in the boat position with both feet onto the floor. You're going to roll back to your biting point, the place where you feel like you're going to fall down, but you're going to stay here. Cover the right leg up and pass it. If you want to, just remove the weight. Or you can even help yourself with your hands. Try to keep the back straight, but also at the same time, don't worry if you don't head straight all the way. So now we're going to crunch, but it's an oblique crunch, so you're gonna try to touch your right knee with your left elbow. Two and one. Advance your coding in the ball position. So now we're gonna repeat the same thing with the other side. So first up, we're gonna hold the left leg up and pass it. Hover it and pass. Up, up, three, four. Hold here, pass. If you need to, just help yourself with the hands behind you. And again at halfway, we're doing those oblique kind of like sit-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit up and down. I want two more, one and two. Advance your coding here. Otherwise, drop down to lying. We're sticking with those obliques and we're doing heel uh, reaches. So you reach for the right heel, then reach for the left one. If you want to, remove the weight. Try to find the beat. Right, left, right, left. Great job. So this is what's really gonna help you get that tiny waist. You are sculpting into it, pulling the muscles in, which is the main part of the hourglass body, the tiny waist, and the wider butt and shoulders. That's why it's like a next body. This doesn't need to be too fast. Control it. I don't want you just doing it without squeezing the core in. Two and one. If you want to, stay here. And we're coming into our side work sequence. We're starting off with a plank. You're going to choose if you want to be on your elbow, on, on your head. I'm gonna try and do them on my head. And you twist down and come up. So there are so many versions of planks. If you want to be on your head, you can drop onto one knee, you can place one foot behind the other, you can place one foot over the other. These are different difficulties. Or if you want, you can do the same things, but on your elbow, so right here. Down and up. I'm going to finish it off onto my arm. Oh my gosh, this hurts so much, but I'm not gonna give up. 
I can make it easier for myself, but I'm not gonna stop. Let's do one more. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to grab your resistance band if you have one. Pop it right above your knees. We're coming onto the same side into lying. And you're going to sweep the upper leg forwards and back. So lay down, sweep it forwards, and then back to neutral. Do this to get activating your side block. And after this, we're gonna finish it off. Try to keep your waist uh, to have a gap underneath it. And this also works your waist like this. And your whole body. You have 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. If you can, I want you to place the leg forward and hold here. Don't drop it. If you're choosing to do this, don't drop it and continue working on that back butt. So, otherwise, join us now and we're passing the leg up and down. Try to keep the heel up and toes pointed down and flex that foot. We are almost halfway there, so keep pulsing, don't punch, and after this we're gonna circle it. You have 20 seconds, so circle forwards for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna circle backwards. So now we're circling backwards, we have 10 seconds, and after this you're choosing if you want to have a break. If you can, hold here. Otherwise, drop down, but please try to stay here. Don't lose the tension in your butt. Next up, we're gonna work a bit on that glute mass. So we're gonna bring the knee in, extend it backwards, and pulse. Forwards, backwards, pulse. If you want to make it even harder for yourself, grab some weights, one or two, completely your choice. And you have 40 seconds. So you have 20 seconds. Stay backwards and only pulse. You are working on that side one as well as on the good max. So you are working on different muscle groups here. 3, 2, 1. Drop down and we can square today the same sequence but on the other side. So if you want to remove the bend and we're going for the side planks first. You are choosing if you want to come onto your hand on or onto your elbow and we're twisting down and up. It's so good to feel not so exhausted when we're starting off and I'm, after this exercise I'm already going to be feeling the burn in my shoulders, in my butt, everywhere, in my obliques. You are more than halfway there for this exercise. If you want to, tag the foot over the other one. If you want to, hold here, otherwise we have a break and we're doing the knee drive in with the leg pulse up. So we're coming back into the side plank. Oh my gosh, my booty still hurts from the other side. We're coming up, knee drive in and pulse up. Try to do the pro exercise like this, but if it's too hard, we're going to drop down onto our knees. Okay, I'm going to drop down. It's your choice if you can. Don't do what I did. Continue with the harder version. You have 10 seconds now. 
So try to finish it up the hard way. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Add the resistance band if you have it, or if you want to. And we're working on that other butt cheek now. So drop down, lie down, and we have the sweeps first. So bring the leg forward and backwards to neutral. Also, don't, don't forget that everyone has, not everyone, but most of the people have a stronger and the weaker side. For me, my right shoulder is quite a bit stronger than my left one. That's why I could do the side plank better on my right side. And my left butt cheek is stronger, so it's not like your whole right part of the body is stronger. Or at least for me, my left part of my butt is stronger. Hold forward if you can, but my right part of the upper body is stronger. You have five seconds here, and then everyone is gonna join us for some pauses. Three, two, and one. Pause up. Heel is up, toes are pointing down. Foot is placed. Try to keep the gap underneath your waist. When you have 20 seconds left, we are circling forwards and then backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. And circle forwards. Don't forget that right form. Finish it off. You can do this. And if you can, again, hold forwards. Try to bring the leg even forward. And then we're coming into our last butt exercise. Knee drive with an extension and a pause. Three, two, one. Then we're starting knee drive and pause backwards. I'm gonna have some water. If I find my weight, I'm gonna add them too. So, knee drive and pause. Now we're staying backwards in the extension and pulse up and down. Find the new beat. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten more seconds. The foot is still flexed. And one. Okay, we're dropping down and we're coming into some side planks. This is the last thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna be working both on the shoulders and the core. If you want to keep the resistance band and want to do anything here, come into an elbow plank and we're doing just hip beats. So drop the hips to the right and then to the left. Try to keep the back straight. I gaze is slightly forward and shoulders are over your elbows. Pull that core inside, guys. I don't want you arching and I don't want you to hunch your back too much. It took me so much time to remember the word hunch. This was so funny. You have five seconds. Finish it off, and if you're feeling strong, hold here. Next up, we're gonna come onto our hands. We have a leg lift into a knee drive. Three, two, and one. Lift the leg, and knee drive in. Change sides. Lift the other leg up, and knee drive in. We are also working on our butt here. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. So, leg comes up and then knee drive. Leg lift and knee drive. You have less than 20 seconds now. Hold here for 10 seconds. 
after this, we have a one minute boat hold and then you are done with this workout. Okay, 10 seconds are done. Come onto your butt. There are different uh, types of boat hold. So the easiest to just hold with the legs down. If you want to help yourselves with the hands, otherwise lift the feet up, hold here. Or if you want to, extend the legs and hold here. If you're feeling super strong, add the weights. In five seconds, we're going to do some Russian twist. Russian twist. So three, two, one. Arms come up. One can't I even talk, but just twist it out. Four, three. Extend the legs if you want to. Two and one. Hold for the last seconds. Try to lean back even further down. And hold here. You can do this quad exercise. If you want to bring the arms up. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. So that was our workout. I'm pausing the music. Or I'm just gonna turn the volume down. Let's have some music in the background. Remove the band, remove the weights. You are done. I like this really much. I don't know about you, but that's the beauty of Pilates training. You feel the burn like crazy, but at the same time, you don't get too sweaty and you can continue with your day after your workout. So that's what I really like about Pilates. And please let me know you like the video by smashing the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click notification bell so you know whenever I post a new workout. You can follow me on my social medias up here because I want to show you the other workouts that I do. And you can also tag me there because I want to see your results, how you're working out with me. And I'll share them on my channel so everyone can see how amazing you are. Right now on my TikTok, I'm sharing some pretty funny videos. There are also some recipes. And yeah, so please check it out there. And this is day four of your Healthy Girl Summer Shred Challenge. I really like the idea of not only the physical changes in your body, but also the mental. That's why this Hot Girl Summer Shred is Healthy Girl actually, and not Hot Girl. Because you can be healthy and hot, but not, but not when, but when you are hot, that doesn't mean that you are healthy on the inside. So, this is why for this challenge I'm providing you some workouts and a printable you can, which you can download in the description below. But there are also going to be some healthy recipes and on my social media I'm going to be sharing some things that can change your mindset for the better. Because it's really important to not only look okay but feel great. This is what I'm working out for. Um, this is the main reason of my workouts because it makes you feel so strong and badass but it also makes you look amazing so that's a win for both sides so again thanks for working out with me please do this challenge with me today is day four tomorrow day five tomorrow is going to be some more cardio and yeah so again for the first time thanks for doing this workout with me and i'll see you tomorrow for day five bye